Hey, 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 beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. Being a carer with moi, Kes. You just finished caring for your clients, particularly in a domiciliary setting, and they suddenly become unwell. What do you do? You go into your client's house, again, particularly domiciliary, to give them their lunch or their dinner. And they ask you, to prepare something that you possibly might have never heard of before. <laughs> what do you do? All right. Now you go in also to care for your clients. And then there's somebody there, possibly a spouse, a child, a sibling, a friend. And you need to give your client personal care, clean them up. What do you do? Now all these questions and more, I will be answering in this video. So please. Do us a favor, watch to the very end, okay? My name is Kessiena Akwara Atie, a health and social care trainer. To all of you, my old and new returning subscribers, you guys are amazing. Loads of kisses to you all. I can't keep giving you the kisses enough. More, 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 more. <laughs> and to all my mentees, love you all so much. And hey, 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 hey. If you just watched this channel for the first time, or you stumbled on it by chance, hello, what are you waiting for? Smash the subscribe button. And in case you did not know, it is absolutely free. Okay? So give it to me now. Come on, show me some love. All right? And of course, click on that like button that you like the video. And of course, on that all important notification bell. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be among the very first to know. Follow me as well on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Care by Case. And you know how we roll. I'll see you there. Okay. Let's get into today's topic. More possible scenarios you could face as a healthcare assistant or carer. Now, this video came about because I had a set of people I was trained who, who were, you know, on a tier two visa, I think last week. And they asked these questions, questions. And I said, oh, wow. These questions are actually very good. You know what? I'm going to make a video on it. And so if you're watching this video, you guys, this is for you. All right. So you go into your client's house. Yeah. And they tell you, oh, for breakfast, I want this. And you've never heard of it before. <laughs> what do you do? Now, so you know, all these things are YouTubeable. If you get what I mean. Okay. Go on YouTube and you'll find out what it is and how to prepare it. But to be honest, a lot of them, all they take is in the morning is either cereal, toast, or porridge, coca oats, porridge. Okay? Now, some poshy ones would like some sunny side up eggs, omelette, scramble, scrambled eggs, rather. You know. So if you do not know how to make it, just YouTube it. <laughs> All the steps will come up and it doesn't take much. Okay. All right. Now for dinner, most of them, they have this thing they call wheels on meals on wheels rather, or some have family members who come in to cook for them. Okay. Or some buy from the supermarkets, pre-prepared meals. So all you do is microwave them. All right. And then give them to eat. But I always recommend to microwave them on a breakable dish, not in the plastic they are put in. Okay, now you go in to give your client personal care, particularly again in a domiciliary setting, and their child is there, or their spouse, or grandchild, or whoever. What do you do? Simple, you ask them to please excuse you. Simple, all right. Now, I had this kind of scenario one time, you know, went into the double up call. I went to my colleague to give this a woman a personal care, and then the husband was there. He is the main carer, but we just come in to assist. And we're going to give her a wash that morning. And he was sitting down there with her chatting. And we said, oh, sir, could you please excuse us? We want to take care of her. And he went out. He excused us. It's simple. You cannot do anything for them with the relative or whoever is there. There. It's a breach of their privacy. Yes, I know. They take care of them when you're not there. I agree. But when you are doing your job, it is your duty to ensure that you have that privacy for them, if that makes any sense, all right? Now, you just give your, your, your clients care, either give them a wash or personal care or whatever, and they suddenly become unwell. What do you do? Now, what you do is very simple. Now, this is something 
you need to clarify with your manager because I think different companies have different protocols, okay? But one thing you must never do is leave them alone. It doesn't matter if you are running late for the next call. What you should do is place a call to your office, to your manager, your field supervisor, tell them what is going on. Particularly when they leave alone. If they become unwell, you cannot, for the love of God, leave them alone. If something happens, how do you defend yourself? So please, if they do become unwell while you are there with them, place a call to your office. Of course, stay with them. And again, do what the manager says, which is usually call the paramedics. Tell them everything. You stay with them there. They come. They look at them. And sometimes you might be required as their carer to accompany them in the ambulance to the hospital. So get ready for that as well. Okay. And you go in to take care of your resident, your service user or clients. And he or she tells you, oh, um, I would like to have a video on YouTube. Can you take a video of us together, doing certain things together? Or can you take a picture of me? You know, your phone is quite techy, you know. Take a picture of me and all of that. What do you do? Now, my honest answer to that is, please decline. Do not make any video with any clients. Do not take any of the pictures on your phone because if for some reason your picture or their pictures rather are found on your phone, you have just breached GDPR, their privacy. And don't forget, as a carer, you are, you are supposed to uphold certain standards of care. Now, one of them is do not expose them to the public. Keep that whatever their business private. I saw a video one time of a client, of a carer rather, dancing in a client's house. That is wrong. You have no business dancing in their house or even taking, making a video with them in it. That is very, very wrong. If the family find you out, they can sue you. And trust me, they will win. Does that make sense? So my brothers and sisters, let's be wise. Okay? I know if you're a YouTuber, you want to create content. But please, do not use your client as your part of your content. Because it is wrong. Okay? Your client asks you to give them a massage. Or cut their nails or their toenails, fingernails, whatever. What do you do? Now, my honest opinion is this. Do not do it. You are not a masseur or a masseuse. You could go and massage them and then cause something else there. You are not a manicurist. Neither are you a pedicurist or a podiatrist. Because for some of them, their nails are so thick and curved like a claw. And you need to be trained on how to cut those nails. Because if they bleed, you have questions to answer. So please do not give them a massage. Do not cut, them, cut their nails rather or their toenails, fingernails, whatever. Don't. Unless, of course, it is stated in the care plan. And like I say to you guys all the time, the care plan for a carer is like the Bible. It's like the holy grail of care. You must abide by that. If there are reasons why you have, if you have concerns rather, what do you do? Report to your manager. Simple as ABC. Does that make sense, people? All right. See you in my next video. Always remember this, my lovely people. My lovely awesome brothers and sisters. That no matter what the matter is, you, you matter so much more. Au revoir.